I think I might have done it. I think we may have actually peaked out here on the channel. It's not even that I want to share this with you. I just, I need to share this with you guys today because this is revolutionary. This is going to change your life. This is rehashed content from my last video on a real... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who's doing... My, it's my roommate. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, I'm at the door. Would you let me in? Nah, man, fuck you. All right, well, um, I'll see you later. Later, buddy. Bye. All right, you too. Bye. I found this game. I ended up getting this as a random title in my last video. If you haven't seen it, there's an I card in the corner. You can go watch that. You know, the whole the whole nine yards, proper video promotion and all that. I didn't put very much footage of this game in my video because I really wanted to make a whole video on it. It seems like a really funny, good game. And uh, you know, your, your boy is struggling for content out here. So I'm, I'm gonna try my best. If we actually took a second and read the reviews, like every single one of you should do before you buy a game, this has to be one of the most Reticulous games I've I I have <laughs> this has to be one of the most reticul ass games I have played in quite some time and I regret nothing was really worth it. We're not dealing with a bitch boy title, okay? This is this is some triple A, you know, blockbuster gaming experience that we're about to be receiving here. The first thing we have to do is run through the maze and, and find the house. Now, I've already played this part, so I know where I'm going. Also, pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Since I got this game in a random key pack, I have already played it, so I'm basically gonna catch myself up where I was, but I'm gonna highlight a few things that are like important to note or things that I find funny. The game's supposed to to feel like a puzzle game but it's basically a walking simulator the reason i say that is because any interesting items that you can interact with are highlighted in a in, in a giant yellow border so you can just see everything you're supposed to pick up like this english muffin here so basically everything that i've done so far i went to the back of the house i picked up the key that was in the barn i used that key to unlock the front door of the house i picked up this crate i picked up this bottle of rancid corn oil picked up the bathtub plug put it in the sink pushed the secret lever in the pantry that isn't really a secret because it's outlined in white opened the secret door making it much less secret picked up this bobby pin off the table opened the medicine cabinet downstairs grabbed some nail clippers press q a bunch of times on my keyboard even though it said it does nothing used the nail clippers to pull a rusty nail out of the wall because that makes sense. Closely admired the really detailed Pontiac Fiero that was sitting in disrepair outside of the house. Top five unreliable cars of all time. Admired this almost angelic statue of this big fat dude on this tree. Picked up a shovel handle. From this point, I kind of had trouble figuring out what to do as it's been like a week and a half since I actually played this game. Then I remembered I had to put the rancid corn oil in the sink. The smell is worse than imagined. I pondered my next move for a while and then I went upstairs and saw that there was a giant silhouette of a crate just like the one I had so I put my crate there and then I thought that maybe I can use the rusty shovel handle to tip over the wardrobe thing grab the mallet off the table admired the little keemstar gnome they have up in their attic it's really really creepy shoved a rusty nail into a fuse box uh, in, in place of an actual fuse ignoring any sort of personal safety for those around me or myself I turned on the power like I was playing a game of zombies opened this CD player in the living room grabbed this CD out and then I opened up the barn and silo I went into the barn and admired this other poster for a Pontiac Fiat I don't know why. Went upstairs, grabbed the broom, admired this mildly uncomfortable picture of a really buff man on the beach, picked the lock on the silo, opened the door, swept the very inconspicuous pile of hay. Look how realistic that looks. Found some needle nose pliers, continued pressing Q even though the game told me not to. And when I made my way to this weird electrical pylon in the sky, I found a shocking discovery. There was a dead bot with jumper cable clamps all over him. Except it wasn't a dead body. It was my YouTube channel wearing a suit. I found a gloved severed hand and my first thought was that the only way to get that severed hand out of that glove was to go and put it in the sink full of rancid corn oil that I had lying back at my farmhouse. I slammed the severed hand into the sink as hard as I could and the hand popped right out. I picked it up. I put it in my pocket and later that night we got better acquainted. I pulled the something is jammed inside out of the sausage grinder with the pliers, got a bent key fob, which I put on the table upstairs that's covered in weird vegetables in jars. Gave it a nice old smack with the hammer while the Keemstar no menacingly watched me from afar. I power walked all the way back to the start of the map as not to twist and sprain my ankle. Went over to this inconspicuous bunker on the side of the hill, slapped that hand in, slapped that key fob in, threw that CD in, and then had an English muffin for a snack. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that is up to date right there. This elevator opened and then I stopped playing. Is it corn? Am I gonna interact with the corn? That's what I wanna know. What the fuck is going on? You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> you may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. 
That was a complete waste of time. I cut a lot of that out, but that was like a three minute cutscene, dude. What the hell? What is with this guy, man? He looks like, he, he's like a chubby Ronald Reagan, but he also kind of looks like the guy who founded McDonald's. Which which one is it, fella? I guess it's, it's Bob P. McTavish. He has a PhD, an MA, a BSC, a DOP Esquire. I don't, what does this mean? Wait a minute. I can click this. This moves? Okay. That might be useful later. Uh, this is this is Ted Smith, co-founder. He's a he's a cute guy. I have no idea what direction this game is about to go in. I'm in like an underground lab now. I, like this game, it, it goes much deeper than just corn, dude. Children's block and a teddy bear. All right. A sweaty headband. I turned on the power strip. Okay. This is a piece of cake, bro. This keyboard goes right here, and I can click this. And it, it doesn't do it doesn't do anything. All right, I'm gonna carry this bear around. I'm gonna let him keep me company for a little bit. He looks like a good guy. The corn overlords, dog, they're watching. Why am I in a cave now? <laughs> Now, I gotta say, in, in all honesty, this is something that I would hang up in my own house. So if anyone happens to have a copy of whatever this painting is called and you wanted to send it to my P.O. box, that would be really, really swell. I gotta get a P.O. box first. All right, so I've been running around for a fat second now. I have a, an Etch-A-Sketch, a military backpack, a Grippotron, a sweaty headband, a teddy bear, and an English muffin. And I don't really know i don't really know what i'm doing i'm gonna really need this game to start delivering on the content soon man i'm <laughs> i'm not sure what's going on here okay so I, I can put the bear down here right i can put the the backpack here the is that the etch-a-sketch no what the gripatron i guess i'm parting with the bear and i need whatever this is dude come on where am i supposed to be going right now why is this bathroom two toilets facing each other and a sink in the middle like who who's going to the bathroom at the same time as another person here why is this one so dirty like imagine this i'm i'm squatting down on this toilet i'm dropping some dirt right and I'm just staring into the eyes of the other guy there. That's the most uncomfortable thing that I can think of in my entire life. This game was supposed to be the one, man. It was supposed to be the one. Ooh, I found a cheap jumpsuit. Okay. Made out of a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. That kind of, that sucks, man. It looks, it looks good. It says Mitchell on it. Mitchell, I got your jumpsuit and I got your coat rack. <laughs> There's an extremely obvious fake panel right here, but I don't know how to open it. Bro, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to find that I'm not finding, dude? Is this piece of steak on the ground? No? Is it down here? I, I don't understand. I really don't. What am I missing? What the hell am I missing, dude? They really ramped up the puzzle, dude. Like, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Whatever I'm missing, it's gonna be in, like, the most ridiculously obvious spot, and I just can't find it. I'm, I'm looking it up. It's, I've literally been recording for almost an hour now, and literally 40 minutes of it has been spent looking for whatever I need. Are you kidding me? Okay, Jesus Christ. You guys ready for how stupid this is? Check this out. Literally right next to where I'm standing already. No, wait, where is that? Literally right next to where I'm standing, okay? So you follow this stupid paper trail up here. That military backpack that I had, I picked it up right here. And I guess I missed this drawer because I'm an idiot. There's a screwdriver in the drawer. That's what I need is a screwdriver. I bet you anything that the screwdriver opens this stupid panel. Yeah, there's a, see, a circuit board of RAM in here for whatever reason. This shit's making my dog cry, dude. This isn't okay. <laughs> I'm gonna slap this on the computer here. Let's grab that out and uh, let's build a robot, I guess. This bear is not gonna come to life right now. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand. Damn. It's a Soviet bear. There's a Soviet bear. Do you see this dog, dude? I don't care about the Soviet bear. Hold on a second. Ready? I'm gonna pretend to ignore her and she's gonna get really upset. In the bed. No, get, get back in the bed. And if you're gonna do that, no, get back in the bed first. You gotta be in shot. You gotta get in frame. It, it's for views. Just get, get right. Get, sit there. Okay. Sit. Sit. Okay. Now, now make a lot of noise. Make them feel compassion for you so that they like the video this video doesn't get a thousand likes ow if this video doesn't get a thousand likes i'm gonna turn the bath water on really hot and i'm gonna drop my dog in the <laughs> i'm gonna drop my dog in the hot bath water and she's gonna melt into a puddle so you better you better like this video <laughs> all right we got this stupid robotic bear now and apparently we're we talking to more corn to settle a debate on taking naps oh my god what is that? What is, what is plant saying? Is that a? It is. It's a helicopter. <laughs> what? A 
let's see. Yeah, there's a vent in the showers now that I can go into. There's a red line here going through the vent. I could follow it, but you know, I, I learned my lesson. Every single time I follow one of these, it's a trap or it's something stupid. I'm just, I'm not going into it. I, I know the tricks. This is a dead end, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so we're following the red line here. Let's see where this takes us. Probably, hopefully somewhere special. Uh, it curves here, so we're gonna have to curve with it. There you go. Just get you a little nauseous there. Jump over that gap real quick. Uh, it seems that we are at a crossroads here. There's a red line and a yellow line. I could follow either. Uh, this looks like it's actually a dead end, but it's not. It goes down. This is so enticing. This is exhilarating right here. This is, oh, what is that? Why is there a big hairy corn with a fanny pack, bro? What a cute piece of corn, dude. Like the fact that he's confident enough to go out in his day and like do things, like look at that man. All right, you know, he he's he's bigger than all the other corn. He's hairier than all the other corn. He's wearing more fanny packs than all the other corn. He seems nice, bro. He really, really does. I'm just gonna carry a full-size coat rack through these vents, dude. I don't even care. The physics of this doesn't even make sense. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a, it's a thick mama Christmas corn, bruh. That was, that was cringy. I don't know how to make this interesting. It's corn, dude. It's corn. Like how, how do you make corn oh, funny? Disturbed. Corn, 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 oh, corn, 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 corn. <laughs> you know, one thing that I do actually like high key have an issue with is how am I supposed to get immersed in this game and have a good time when it's literally corn? I, I just, I don't know. I, I can't really get past that. It's like a rough textured pickle. It's like a pickle with scales that has a mouth and is pink. I. W it's corn. So do I do I hop down in her room and make sweet corn love or like what what's what's good? Cause I just traveled all the way through these vents and I don't want it to be for nothing. Are you really telling me I traveled through these vents and I don't get to clap some corn cheeks, bro? I was gonna fucking ruffle those leaves, dude. Get out of here, man. Come on. I gotta walk 17 years back through these vents. It's ridiculous. All right, all right. I can't get out of the vent. Are you serious? So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? Why is this bear so mean? Who wronged you, dude? I assume that there's other areas opened up now because I successfully infiltrated that one. The only problem is I don't remember what this map looks like, so I, I actually don't know the difference between the new areas and the ones that I already had unlocked. This could be an issue. I don't think this was open before. I think this is the new area. Disgusting yellow and green putrid walls. Broken security what? checkpoint. I still have this English muffin from the beginning. I do, what is happening here, dude? Where are we going with this? Let's open the safe. Is the big hairy corn man in here? Or is this just a putrid sewer full of diarrhea? What? Yo, someone lost their bike right here, bro. Shit. I wonder if the kid was still on it when it got pulled down here and crushed. Something new has got to open up because I'm like out of places to go. I, I don't know what to do now. I think I pretty much expended every single resource that I have. I, I don't know where to go or what to do at this point in time. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this. I haven't eaten in like 72 hours and the last two brain cells that I have are about to fucking fight and then I'm gonna die because I'm not gonna have any more brain activity. That's how that works. That's science. So what I need every single one of you to do is I need you to go over to my Twitch channel and I need you to follow it because that's the only thing that's gonna put food in my stomach. Okay, I'm about to get a sub button. Give me all your Twitch Prime subs. On an actual note, the time you're seeing this video right now, real time, I I'm, I'm saying I'm live right now on Twitch, okay? I'm telling you, I'm uploading this video then I'm going live. So if you don't show up to my Twitch and if you don't follow my Twitch, then you're a piece of shit and I'm not coming to your birthday party anymore, okay? Seriously, guys, it's in the description. Go follow it, please. I, I, I'm not doing like sponsored stuff very often anymore. You know, I'm cutting back on the selling out. I'm, tr I'm trying to be the best me that I can be for you guys. So please follow me on Twitch. I really, I need the extra support right now. You know, I, I'm going through a hard time, man. My final thoughts on this game are that it is a really decent game, but I am just too hungry to tough it out today. So if you guys want to download it, uh, it will be linked in the description. It's not a sponsored thing or anything. I'm just linking it for you because it's a game that I enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy this video, uh, like I said earlier, you get this video to a thousand likes or I'm going to melt my dog in a bathtub. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been fun, guys. It's been real. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. I don't know why I just did this. I. I... Goodbye. Hey, guys. New outro song. The other one was copyrighted in too long, so I made this in like two seconds. Follow my Twitter, please. <laughs>